in areas like information technology, in new industries going forward. What that $15 billion will do is facilitate private sector investment, support startups, support that capital which is needed to take a small company with a really good idea and make it a large company. And we see that all of the time, all of the time. And that's why uh, as I've gone around on Friday, I was at Tritium in southeast Queensland. Uh, they produce the fastest and most effective electric vehicle charging stations in the world, produced in southeast Queensland. Here in WA, we have an enormous opportunity to produce batteries. We know that the electric vehicle transformation is occurring yesterday. In Tasmania last night, I spoke to a, a, a business there that is producing electric ferries, electric ferries. We know that the sort of nonsense we heard from the former government, you know, you can't tow your trailer, you can't tow your boat, is all just ridiculous. That's why we've made electric vehicles cheaper, but we know that batteries will charge not just motor vehicles, but also uh, to ensure that uh, storage occurs with renewable energy as well. It's the sort of innovation that we need. We have a vehicle to support that. In addition to that, we have the safeguard mechanism. This week now, as we transition to net zero by 2050, which all of these companies, as I go around, BHP, Rio Tinto, Woodside, Fortescue, all support net zero by 2050 and all supported. Our legislation was supported uh, by the Minerals Council and by industry. Uh, this week, what we had was pass the safeguard mechanism, which will provide that certainty for industry going forward. That's what business have been crying out for. It's what we've delivered, in spite of the fact that the Liberal Party opposed each of those uh, legislations when it was before the House and before the Senate.